Good evening. I see you'll find me awake. My name is Captain Jane Shepherd, and you are above Normandy. Um, so we intercepted the collector ship that came after you, and we are heading back into the native server system. So we should be out of quite soon. At the moment, we're just entering the Neptunian region. So, are you feeling okay? A little bit groggy, that is natural. Um, we couldn't find a file for you or anything. The collectors took all of that, unfortunately. Um, so can I take your name, please? Brilliant, that's everything for now. So, as I said, you probably will feel quite groggy. Um, you should feel a little bit better for when you get back to Earth. If you like, there is a universe guided tour, which is going to take place in a minute. Um, we're entering the trans-Nepturian region. So, yeah, you might want to sit back and relax, maybe shut your eyes. Hello, this is Captain Jane Shepherd. We are entering the Trans-Neptunian region now, and that is the home of a few planets, including what was once a planet, Pluto, but a few hundred years ago it was downgraded to a dwarf planet. Some people still argue for its case, but the definition was set quite a long time ago, and it has been agreed by the Citadel Council, I believe. And we aren't going to be able to see anything of Planet 9, because obviously the orbit is that big, we can't make a detour anywhere near that. I do believe we're just going past Pluto and Sedna now. That is another dwarf planet. Um, and then we're going to get onto the Cooper Belt, which is mostly a um, blend of icy materials and is around the orbit of Neptune. So we are around. 42 times the orbit of Earth now, so we do have a little bit of a wait, I do apologise for that. Um, and now we need to move on. We are starting to get quite a bit closer to Neptune, which is the first of the gas giants. Past that, we'll be coming near Uranus. It is worth looking out on both of those for rather impressive rings, um, which are mostly made up of dust, rock and ice particles. Further on from that, we will be going on to Saturn, and that does have the most impressive rings, and is a very large planet. And once we get past that, we will be having a look at Jupiter. Sadly, that is from the distance, which is why telescopes have been provided. Just make sure they are digitally optimized for your viewpoint. And as we know, the red giant on the surface is starting to die down finally. It has existed for hundreds of years, but you can still see it. It's worth taking a look at because scientists don't actually know why the matter is finally going to finish. Some people thought that that storm was never actually going to end. Okay, and now is the best viewpoint for it. So make sure you're nice and relaxed and getting the best view for Jupiter. And now we get onto the asteroid belt. This is a very interesting looking place. It is a very complicated place to fly and is normally what is the biggest problem for early flyers. And now once we pass through that, 
we can take a little look at Mars, which um, has quite a lot of building community on it now. It was one of the first planets which Earth actually explored. Um, however, the atmosphere and the ground is still red caused by the rust on the surface, but the atmosphere is slowly being worked on to be improved. Now, we're not going to go straight to Earth as we need to slingshot around the sun to get some more power. So, come back in the next couple of minutes and we will go from the inside with Mercury and my personal favourite, Venus. So, come right back in a couple of minutes. Okay, and now we are approaching the sun. We do have refreshments because the heat can get up quite a little bit. We do recommend turning on the UV settings on your window and adjusting them accordingly to your eyesight. And you are actually able to look at the sun because of our UV technology you will be able to see quite a lot of the sunspots and um, any solar flares. Don't worry, you are completely protected. It is worth having a look at it. And we didn't actually used to be able to fly this close to sunspots until we upgraded our connections. Anyway, we are going to get past that quite quickly because we do get past the sun quite fast because of the gravitational pull. So the first place we're going to take a look at in the inner solar system is Mercury which is made up mostly of iron and rock. It's the first of the rocky planets and is quite full of craters. It is actually too hot for any project to make an atmosphere so it is largely unexplored and on from here we get on to Venus, which is a rather beautiful looking planet from the outside. However, it does have a very unpleasant atmosphere of acid rain. People are only able to go on there for one hour with very heavy suits and specialist breathing tanks. So a lot of the planet is unexplored. But we have taken back samples and found evidence that potentially it could once have supported water. That was a very recent discovery though. Anyway, as we go past that, we do begin to approach our home planet, the planet Earth. I hope everybody is settled and ready to land. This is my home planet so I actually can't wait for this. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy and I hope you've all had a safe, relaxing journey and caught up on some sleep. Thank you and enjoy. Enjoy.